Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm Austin Reed, coming to you from our Tower District Studios inside the Mike Briggs Building. Thank you for joining us on this Tuesday, the 23rd of August already. We are, what, in the last week of the eighth month of 2022. I don't know how that happened. Uh, you may notice a little different background today. This is at the location, and let's bring in my, my guest today. Uh, this is Anna. Anna, welcome. Hi. And you guys, t tell everybody uh, where, we're, what, where we're looking at right now. Well, this is the view of the, the river, the Fresno River, up in Oakhurst, mm -hmm. um, just uh, behind our inn, the Queen's Inn, and Idlar Winery and Kitchen. So how long have you guys uh, been in business now? 15 years. 15 years. 2007. Wow. Yeah. Why, why did you want to launch and just do something like this? Well, the inn, um, obviously, couldn't change location of the inn, wouldn't want to. It's a beautiful five-acre property in Oakhurst. Um, and I moved the winery here from the Central Coast in 2007, okay. early 2008. Um, and we were able to open um, and now have a producing winery there for the last 15 years. Um, the inn opened on 7-7-2007. Oh, interesting. As an, oh, eight, okay. as an eight room inn. And we um, expanded in 2019, adding four cabins. So now we have 12 rooms right there on the river. It's really beautiful. And uh, we became more of a gathering place, especially during COVID, for our locals. Um, we didn't obviously see as much tourists um, during COVID, but we did uh, add a, a kitchen and Mediterranean style food service. Um, on site, everything's outdoors. Mm -hmm. We have always had a beautiful wine bar patio where we've done live music. Um, we didn't do it the last couple of years as much, but now we're back with live music on Saturday nights. Really fun, uh, right there on the wine bar patio. Uh, we're doing a lot of food service now on property seven days a week with awesome. lunch service. Uh, Sunday brunch is really popular. We also do a once a month uh, three course paired wine dinner. Right now it's the first Fridays of the month. Okay. Um, really super popular but really great place only an hour away from Fresno so it's a it's a nice getaway is it, it, it would you say uh, some people it's kind of like a, a hidden gem yeah we find a lot of our uh, guests that come from Fresno or Clovis uh, you know they didn't know we were there and it, because we are so close and it's literally you can stay and not leave the property if you don't want to go into the park of course, we also have Bass Lake there to enjoy, sure. um, lots of hikes and stuff, just not even going into Yosemite. There's a lot to do up there, and so we have a lot of guests that just come to get away. Right, right. And now with the restaurant on site, they don't even have to leave the property. Don't even have to leave. That's freaking awesome. And, and this, like you said, this, this started during COVID. Well, the restaurant the re did. The restaurant, yeah. We, we had started actually in early to, uh, late 2019 with mm. just Sunday brunch. Okay never expecting to be a seven day a week restaurant. Um, we do our wine tastings and food service, or lunch service now daily. Okay. Um, we are gonna stretch into some evenings of light dinner service as well as we move into fall. Um, we don't do anything indoors right now, but mm. we're gonna add a few tables indoors okay. just to do some light dinner service mostly on the weekends when our inn is full. And especially, and especially now we've got winter coming up, so it'll be a little bit cooler, so that'll be good to have some people go inside if they want to. Yeah, I, I find most of our guests enjoy the outdoor space. Because of the location. Because of the right. location, yeah. and we do cool down in the evenings right now, so it's not a bad time That's to true. be outside. Right. Um, our wine bar patio is large as well. Uh, we have a nice deck on the wine bar. Um, the winery has two patios, so there's lots of space to to be, you know, separate. But together, um, we can see uh, 145 people. I think completely. Amazing. I forget you're you're an hour away, so yeah, it's it's not as hot. No, we get are. that uh, temperature shift in the right. evening, so it right. drops like 25 degrees or something. Yeah. That's very nice. Um, yeah. We got to talk about the wine. Yeah. So these are a couple new wines. This is a 2021. Uh, Grenache Rosé from Madeira. So really uh, turned out really nice. A lot of strawberry and watermelon flavors. Mm -hmm, mm. Really a great summer, summer wine to yeah. have chilled. Um, and this is a new Grenache Blanc. So I brought both Grenache. Mm. This one is from the Central Coast. We have a tasting room in Carmel Valley as well, there in the Monterey Bay. So this comes from that area. Um, but really a nice summer white wine uh, to enjoy as well. We, uh, we just will be pouring it. Uh, it will be poured at... Um, 
the Cork and Knife, which is a, oh. a Clovis wine bar, yeah, new yeah. wine bar, uh-huh. relatively new. Yeah. So they're uh, they're just going to add it to their list um, soon. So you awesome. can taste it there if you'd like. Don't even have to drive an hour away. No. <laughs> um, okay, we've got about a minute left. Uh, anything I missed? Anything else you wanted to talk about today? Just, uh, like I said, you know, with our inn, we have some really great rates in the wintertime if you want to get away. Yeah. Uh, of course, summertime is a bit busier in the mountains, and, uh, you know, it's our high season, so it costs a bit more. But in the in the wintertime, it really is a great venue. I mean, uh, we're in, right in the middle of Oak Hill, so... It's, it's really easy to find us. And, you do, and, and, and like, uh, uh, mo- my viewers know I don't really drink, but um, if you, it, it doesn't matter. You can still go there and enjoy the scenery. If you like Mediterranean-style food, oh, we do, yeah. we do yeah. really well with uh, it's paninis and flatbreads, um, um, you know, sa- salads, some yeah. small plates, all stuff that go really well with our wines because they're okay. more uh, Mediterranean-influenced wines. And they say Mediterranean is the healthiest diet. It is healthy. So have a little bit of wine, yep. a little bit of Mediterranean, and it's a good weekend. You won't find too many fried foods on our menu. Yeah, so that's good. That's yeah. good. Yeah. No, I'm sure it pairs perfectly. Yeah. So, uh, Phone number, website, how can people reach out I if Lara, they have questions? idlarawinery.com. My phone number is 559-760-9090. And uh, we'd love to see you. Thank you. Good Thank meeting you, you. You too. All right, I'm Austin Reed. You're watching Central Valley Talk. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more right after this.